So something that often confuses students is when you have powers that are fractions. So let me give you an example. So if we had something like four to the three halves, the question is, what does this even mean? And we can see X, you don't really need to memorize. You can just figure out on your own what it means. So the way to do that is to write this, write three halves as three times one half, right? Certainly three times one half is three halves. And then if you see my video variables with powers, you know what does it mean when you're multiplying two powers? That means you have one power to the other power like that. And now we can do this, right? Because four cubed means four times four times four, which is 64. And then I also have a video about why does one half power mean square root, but it does. It means square root of 64 here, which is of course eight. So there we go. We figured out what four to the three halves is. So before we go to the next problem, I want to point out one little thing that we could have done differently. So we start out here, four to the three halves. Again, three halves is three times one half. But we also could write this backwards, right? One half times three is the same thing. So the question is, what does that change? Okay, well, so this means I have four to the one half power to the third power. So now, four to the one half power means square root of four. Square root of four is two, and two cubed is eight. So of course, we get the same answer. So in this problem, it didn't really seem like doing one way or the other was really that different. Okay, let's go to another one though. So our last one here, I'll do eight to the five thirds power. All right, so let's do our last one here. Let's do eight to the five thirds power. Okay, so I'll start out the same way. I'll write this as eight to the fifth times one third, and that means eight to the fifth power to the one third power. So here we're, we're not stuck, but we're at a place that's probably harder than we want. So first we're gonna have to do eight to the fifth power, which if you're not using a calculator is a bit of work. And then once you get that big number, you've gotta find the cube root of it. So again, not really an ideal situation. So we could continue, but let's see if we can make our lives any easier. So let's go back, and instead of doing five times one third, let's switch that and see if it's any better. Okay, so let's write this instead as eight to the one third times five. Of course, that's the same thing, that's still five thirds. So this is eight to the one third power, all that to the fifth power. So one third power means the cube root. So the cube root of eight. So what number cubed equals eight? Of course, that's two. And two to the fifth is 32. So there we go. That's much nicer than having to uh, do eight to the fifth. So this way we could do in our head, whereas the other way you probably couldn't do in your head very easily. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions or topics you want me to cover, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get to those. Thanks everyone.